Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. This is 5th grade Bible reading. Uh, today we're going to be doing week number 32 of the curriculum. And today we get a chance to study one of the books that we wrote in the ministry titled The Overcomer's Secret. Uh, we are going to be doing part 3, part 3B specifically, because the book may be section, sectioned into 5 major parts. We are on section number 3 right now, and we're going to try to wrap up section number 3 this week. So section 3 of The Overcomer's Secret is titled The Law of the Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus, the Mercy Aspect of it. Uh, and we are going to be talking about additional details following what we talked about last week. We talked about how the mercy of God is going to be really important. The mercy of God is the favor of God that help, helps us to overcome our challenges. Um, and the way we stay open to the mercy of God is through honesty and faith with humility implied. Uh, but all those attitudes are going to be honesty about my failures, honesty about my sins and weaknesses right now. And those levels of honesty can grow because you may be honest at a small level but you need to graduate to a bigger level of honesty and some levels of honesty that we wanted to identify in this chapter will be telling the truth to one's self concerning the existence of God well that is honesty right you know lots of people they lie about the existence of God and they know in their hearts of hearts that God is real somewhere but they just don't want to believe it well that's dishonest amidst the myriad of uh, evidence that we can see in the realm of the natural people still lie to themselves that God is not real well that's dishonest well the person who is like that is not going to be getting mercies from God so we don't want to be like that then secondly we've got to understand that if something we're not working properly in our lives it cannot be God's fault so we're not going to be upset at God and say well God you caused this to happen to me no I'm the one who caused that to happen to myself I'm the one who didn't do something right and in that mode God's gonna open my eyes to see where I missed it and I, I can correct it and when I correct it things are gonna start to get better so start to train yourself to be like that don't train yourself to be an accuser of God don't train your thought processes to want to say well God you're not doing something right that's going to be dishonest. Another level of honesty which you can really practice is having a conservative, conservative estimation of one's self. So lots of people, they think too much about themselves. Look at what I did. Look at uh, how, how smart I am. <clears throat> Don't think about how smart you are. Think about what God can do through you. Alright? Because really think about it, nobody's really smart without God. So that's what this lesson is trying to teach us right in here. Then what about the faith aspect of it? Well, there are going to be levels of faith, different levels of faith, because when you exercise yourself in honesty, your faith is going to grow. Level 1 honesty, level 2 honesty, level 3 honesty, your faith is going to grow. When you exercise yourself in repentance as well, which is the act of changing, forsaking the sin to turn to God, your faith is going to grow. And we do not necessarily sometimes um, have to wait until we do something wrong before we repent. If you see that you're going down the wrong path, before you do that bad thing, you can repent. You can change your wheel. Oh, I can see that if I keep on hanging out with this kind of friend, they're going to make me do bad things. Well, I'm not going to hang out with them anymore. Well, that is repentance as well. All right? So we want you to, to start to think like that and to learn those critical attitudes that will position you to be open to the mercy of God and be an overcomer even as a student. All right, let's answer some questions right now. According to the text, what are some levels of honesty? Well, the answer is going to be right over here. Telling the truth to yourself, judging yourself, but not condemning yourself. When we're talking about judging yourself, but not condemning yourself it's not condemnation right now i judge myself but i don't condemn myself what does that mean it means i'm telling myself the truth that's going to be a level of honesty as well and then having a conservative estimation of yourself those are going to be the three levels of honesty that we talked about today what is repentance well repentance is a change of the wheel we talked about it over here turning out the wheel from a direction of sin to a direction of friendliness toward god 
how do we repent well it's gonna be pretty easy just like we documented over here acknowledge that sin acknowledge that frailty ask for forgiveness determine not to repeat the sin and receive forgiveness by believing in the blood of Jesus to cleanse your conscience all right so that's going to be uh week number 32 thank you boys and girls for joining us today please remember to turn to page number 72 73 of your workbook so you can journal some answers over there all right remember god cares about you and so do we bye bye i'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born your friend so don't you worry